Hello, everybody. Holly Randall Unfiltered coming to you from the AVN show floor 2023 at the Joy Dot City booth. Of course, I have the one and only one of my favorite girls. And actually, probably we were just thinking, talking about it last time. I think I've shot her more than anybody in like the last year. Um, Jenna Fox, of course. I'm special. You are special. In many ways. <laughs> this is also true. <laughs> So how are you doing? Pretty good. Are you having fun at uh, AVM? I am. I like this year. I do like the year before COVID happened. Yeah. But I like this year. I haven't been to the lounge yet. Okay. Have you been to it? Nope. I want to see what it looks like. Where's the lounge? What lounge? I don't know. The girls lounge. There's a girls lounge? It's like an AVM lounge for models. Oh, well, clearly I haven't been invited. So that sounds like that. that's where all the fun is going to be. No, it's here, though, like in the show. You can, like, walk to it. Like, but take a break, like a quiet lounge. I know, but, like, I'm not a model. Are they going to let me in? Yes. I don't know. You're Holly Randall. You know, you say that, and that is, uh, I still have had so many doors shut in my face. You were at the Brazzers party last night. Well, yes, because I've worked for them for like 15 years. But other people years. were like shut, like the door was shut on them. That's true. The That's true. So you're That's Holly true. Randall. I mean, you know. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Um, so are you liking the vibe here more? Because it's also at a different venue. I don't like, I don't like this hotel. Okay. It's too big. I it's, like the it's hard It's so rock. big. See, I, I hear you on the too big, but I fucking hate the hard rock. I don't like, okay, so I don't like the smell of the Hard Rock, yeah. but I like our event being at the Hard Rock. Okay. It was much bigger. People liked us more because it's sex, love, rock and roll. Like, yeah. Hard Rock. Yeah, I hear you. I, I didn't like the cigarette smoke. No. That was really that I bothersome. Don't like. I also didn't like the fact that they didn't give you robes in your room. I know that sounds like a small thing, but I'm like a robe girl. Like, you got I a need robe? a bathrobe. <laughs> like a bathrobe. You got yeah. a robe in your room? Yeah. I didn't get a robe. You didn't? Oh, shit. Well, I will say also I got water. <laughs> you know what though? The water doesn't get that hot. Is that the same for you? Because huh? the water does not get that hot. Like I'm taking like kind of lukewarmish showers no, here. I got like a bottle of water. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're talking about two different kinds of water. <laughs> the shower water. This is very important stuff, by the way, guys. I'm I'm sure this is <laughs> riveting for you. Is the shower water hot for you? Because it's not that hot for me. It's very hot, but I'm getting puddles of like at the bottom of my feet in the shower like it's almost like filling up like a bathtub you're at the hilt you're here right are you staying here no, i'm at the sahara oh well then what are we talking about i mean the sahara is a little bit smaller than this hotel and you're still not getting hot water <laughs> that's true that's true but i did get a robe i got water yeah <laughs> um you have been nominated for some stuff this year but you don't remember what it is no but i hope you win whatever it is no. How could, how do you not know what it is? Because I never go on the like award thingy. Really? Yeah, I, I used to think it was very political. So okay. I just I'd never look. People okay. tell me I'm nominated. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I appreciate it. But yeah. I never expect to win either. Right. So you don't like put too much credence into it because I know like some girls get real butt hurt when they don't win stuff. I think it's funny because I've sat front row when people have been nominated and they're like, okay, performer of the year. And then all the girls who are performer of the year are like looking and then someone else's name and they're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I know. I know. That's I'm like, hard. I'm like, guys, it's not that serious. Yeah. As long as you're working. That, I know. I agree with you. I mean, coming from somebody who's been in the industry for almost 25 years and has never won an AVN award, I'm just saying I'm totally not fucking bitter about it. It's never? fine. Could even put me in the Hall of Fame. It's okay. You should no be in worries. the Hall of Fame. Thanks. Holly, your thingy, your book thingy that you did, like Bombshell of the Month, mm -hmm. that should be its own category. Like websites, there's your own categories. Like you know, I am up for uh, Best Adult Podcast this year for the Fan Awards. It's the first time they've introduced that category. So maybe to maybe this year will be the year I win. But you know what? Like you said, if I don't, it doesn't matter. People still love your podcast. People anyway. still love my podcast. Oh. I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm making money. I'm happy. Like... It's not all about awards, but like one would be really nice. It would. You know, I'm on the campaign. <laughs> it, I should win an award. But it's okay. I'm on the campaign, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have your AVN dress picked out? Yes, but I don't even know if I'm walking the carpet. 
Yeah. I can't, I can't. I'm actually not going to the awards at all. Huh. Um, I just, I'm over it. Yeah, I usually and go and like go eat. I like walk yeah. the carpet, turn around. Yeah. <laughs> I but go walking eat the carpet is its own thing too. It's yeah. so long. The line is so long. You stand in line for like three hours in heels. All the fans are wrapped around the outside it's of the rope taking like, pictures. Yeah. Like, I'm interested to see what it's going to be like this year, like how it's going to be different, the red carpet, because we're at is. a new venue. Like, where is it though? I have no idea. No, neither. I haven't even received my ticket yet from my manager, but... Oh, wow. Whatever, because <laughs> I might not go. I have to leave on Friday night for an audition, and then if it ends in time on Saturday, I'll come back. Are you going to L.A. for it? Oh, I see. So you would have to out. come... I have to come back. Yeah, I wouldn't come back if I was I don't you. know if I'm going to come back. Yeah, I wouldn't come back if I was you. <laughs> so I'm like, X is coming up. I can use my outfit for that, but yeah. I did want to walk the carpet, but yeah. it's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, spoken like a true veteran. Speaking of, <clears throat> since you are, I would consider probably a veteran in this industry, a lot of experience. I'm a veteran guy. <laughs> I mean, you know, like how long have you been in the industry? Eight years. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we can say that you've had enough experience in the industry that I'm you an oldie. <laughs> <laughs> that you could like give advice to new girls. I brought what? in a new girl. You broke in a new girl. I broke in a new girl. Okay, what does that mean? I booked her. I got her in with company. She's making money. Now she's signed with another agency. Oh, wow. Can you I've, say who it is? Yeah, Jaslyn Ray. Oh, fantastic. I brought her in, helped her, housed her. That's awesome. And now she's doing good. Wow. So what advice did you give her as a veteran of the industry? I told her, you don't need an agent. <laughs> <laughs> and, then she, and then she went and signed with an agent. I was like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> I told her, don't do shit you don't want to do. Yeah, you that's very important. don't always need money. Ask a friend to borrow some money if you really need it. Yeah. Don't drink on set. Don't let anyone offer you alcohol on set. And do what you want to do at your own pace. I think that's all really, like, key pieces of advice. Don't get too wrapped up in the Awards. druggy side of the yeah. industry with the girls. Yeah. I know when they get in, at least when I got in, they were heavy into the... The drugs. <laughs> you always come across as somebody who's like not, I mean, you're so professional. I mean, you're the girl that we call when other girls flake on set because they like party too hard. Like Jenna Fox will call. show up. <laughs> yeah. She call. will come. She will be ready. She will be like hyped. Like she will be good to go. Oh, I remember because Julianne taught me this when I first got in. She put all my lingerie sets in little baggies Aww. on one side. And she's like, when you go to set, then you're like, who taught you that? And then people did. And then I did it for Jaslyn. And the director was like, how do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> like, I learned it from from a veteran myself. We love it when um, models come to set with, like, an organized suitcase full of stuff. Like, I love... I love seeing like everything in individual baggies. Like I love that. The extreme girls would have pictures of them, what they look like in the long. Yeah. Day. I was like, oh. Yeah, that was like next level like, shit. I'm not doing that. Yeah, no, 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 no. definitely not. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> definitely not. I ran out of gas on my way here. <laughs> what? So would you wait? So what'd you do? On the side of the road at like twelve what? o'clock. Wait, why did you? Why did you not? You saw that you were empty. Why did you not stop for gas? I was five minutes away from the gas station, and I was like pushing my car, like, "You can do it. You can do it." No, no. It just shut off in the middle of the street. Good job, Jenna. Good job. Do you have to call AAA? I made a tweet about. it. I was like, "Anyone going to bring me gas? I'm on the side of the road." <laughs> Sounds like the beginning of a horror movie. I was looking for zombies, like, on each side. I was, <laughs> I was a little scared because it was dark. <laughs> so, it's a new year. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Boundaries. Oh, that's a good one. For new friends and old friends. That's a good one. And that's a hard one, too. I'm, like, 44, and I'm still, like, working on establishing boundaries. I noticed before the new year, I was like, I show up for a lot of people, and then when it's my turn... No one's yeah. nowhere to be found. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm mm, not doing that this time around. Yeah. If you don't no, show up for me, I don't show up for you. That's a good one. Don't call me. That's a good one. I like that. All right, Jenna, it's been so lovely chatting with you, as always. I love you, I love you too. I had a crush on Holly when I first got in the industry. Shut up. It was really bad. Did you? <laughs> I did. Really? And like, you're the MILF I want. <laughs> and then we got really close, and I was like, I love you. Oh, thank you. Know, I found out you. you had a hubby. I think that's what it was. You found out it had a husband? I knew if I had a husband. I was like, 
Wow. Did you also find out that I'm like very straight? Yes. And not into. <laughs> but if I was, if I was gay, like a hundred percent, I'd be all for it. She's but I'm, I'm very sorry. She's lying to me. I'm too straight. I can't <laughs> fake it. It's okay. I adore you now as a friend. Okay. Good. Good. I love you too, Jenna. Can you tell everyone where they can find you online? Um, let's see. My Twitter is at only Jenna Fox with two X's. Instagram is so bratty underscore. And my OnlyFans is the Jenna Fox. Fantastic. And of course, you guys can always find me on Instagram and Twitter at Holly Randall. But most importantly, go to joy.city to sign up for the email list. You definitely want to be the there to get the first updates on the first erotic metaverse, which we're so excited to be bringing to you here at AVN. So do not miss out on that opportunity. Be in the know. That's joy.city. Sign up there and um, be on the inside for everything coming up metaverse-wise. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye.